everyone! Today I want to share with you guys some spring accessories that I've picked up over the last couple of weeks. And if you watched my wardrobe essentials video, then you know the basic key pieces that I always make sure I have up-to-date, well-fitting versions of in my closet. But a couple times a year, every time the season changes, I like to go and buy more colorful, fun, on trend items. So these are the more fun pieces that might not last forever. They might go out of season more quickly, but together along with my basics, they can just really help diversify and make my wardrobe a very fun environment to put lots of different outfits together in. So I'm going to show you the um, spring and summer accessories that I've added into my wardrobe recently, the last couple of shopping trips. First I'm going to show you bags. I picked up three. My first one is a neon hot pink Diane Von Furstenberg bag and it's little and it can be worn crossbody and I love this because this season little bags are making a comeback. I know big bags have been in for so long and I've always had like little clutches for going out at night because it is nice at night to not have to carry around a big bag, but pretty much all of my bags are big bags. I didn't really have anything that was both little and on trend and bright, so I picked this one up and I loved it. I got it at Bloomingdale's and I couldn't decide between this one and my next one, so I got them both, which is a little bit of a splurge, but I've already worn this one a couple times and I love it. Even though it's really small, it actually fits everything that I would need. So I can put my phone, my keys, my car key, my house key, all of my cards and a little bit of cash and some gum and like whatever powder or lipstick I'm using and it all fits and I just love this bag and it comes in other like bright colors as well but I personally liked the pink one in this and then the second bag I got is a Rebecca Minkoff and it is bright neon orange and it has like these funny little tassels and again it has the same kind of chain um, strap that you can wear crossbody or just over your shoulder and I again just fell in love with the color I was actually with Ingrid Miss Glamorazzi from YouTube when I bought these and she has this one in yellow we both were just so in love with it we both wanted the orange one but then she was like I already have one I don't want to get it so yeah but I got these I love them I just think they're so cute so that's like my favorite thing that I got for um, this entire video. Those are like my favorites. And then the last bag I bought is from Hope Look, and this is very different from the other two bags I showed you. These are more statement bags. Even though they're little, they're so bright. This one I think is more appropriate for more conservative activities, so when I saw it, I immediately thought outdoor picnic or summer ice cream. I don't know. It just kind of has like that really summery preppy vibe to it, and this is what it looks like. It's just very structured and it's like a little lady bag. Next I got two belts and these are both from J. Crew, and they are just bright neon tiny little belts. So these are perfect for um, cinching in like a skirt around your waist or if you have like a baggier bright top that kind of is in a color that coincides with whatever the belt color is. So I got a neon pink one that is so cute and it's a skinny belt because I have a lot of thicker belts but it's nice to kind of add to my collection because belts never really go out of style. I never get rid of my belts because you never know when it's going to be the perfect thing for your outfit. So I got just a basic pink one with just a regular buckle and then I got a bow as like the little tie. That is so cute. I love this one so much. So this one loops around and where it meets the little um little what are these little holes it like becomes like a little bow and I love that that's so cute so those are the two belts I got then I got a couple of scarves and I've been kind of collecting scarves ever since I went to college because it was really cold but they were always very wintry looking so they were thick and woolen and basically there to keep you warm and not to be a fashion statement so I wanted to get some that were in bright colors that were in a lighter fabric so I got one that's just a solid bright yellow and then I got two from Forever 21 that are colors with like the silver metallic thread running through it. So I have this green one that's really pretty. It's like a spring green. And then I also have the same scarf in a peach color. And it's pretty because it just has this like metallic thread running through it that kind of shimmers but it doesn't look overly metallic. So I think these are really nice and they're light and they're you know spring appropriate. And then I got two from BCBG. So I got this one, it's just bright colors and then it has like that hint of preppiness to it with the stripes. 
I love this and I love how it has like um, this little like frill at the bottom. What is that called? Not a frill. It's like a little fringe. Yeah, it's like a fringe. And then I got one more. I got this one. And you might recognize both of these scarves from Ingrid as well because she has both of them. She had this one first and I had this one first and then we copied each other. So we both have both of them now. Um, we have very similar styles when it comes to when we get dressed up. And then I got some pairs of shoes. So I'm actually going to grab them because they are still in my closet. I got a pair of hot pink neon pumps. I've wanted a pair of bright neon pumps forever. These scream Barbie to me. And I have just been on the hunt for the perfect pair and they are harder to find than you would think. I've been looking for the perfect shade of hot pink pumps for a couple summers now and have not found the perfect pair. These are from Aldo. They also had it in a bright silver, bright silver, in a bright yellow. Silver wouldn't be that exciting. Um, but I didn't get the yellow, but I really like these. They're not too high, so they're actually pretty easy to walk in. Obviously, if you're a very beginner heel walker, that probably does look high, but that this is pretty short compared to what I normally wear. So it's nice because I'm also very tall. I don't like wearing the tallest heels all the time, but a lot of times the tallest heels are the cute ones. So I get them because they're cute and then I wear them and then I'm like super, super tall. So this is a nice little middle ground. And I wore this the other day to an event with a dress that was black on the top and then the same neon pink on the skirt. And you would think that you would want to wear black pumps with that so that it would be like color blocking. But I put on the dress and I was just like, you know what, I'm going to think outside of the box and do something that maybe conventionally you wouldn't think to do and I'm going to match the hot pink with hot pink and I got so many compliments like every single person there was just like oh my gosh I love the pink shoes with that dress because I don't think a lot of people would have done it then I got okay this pair of shoes like a little weird um this isn't something that I would typically pick out but I just was in the mood that shopping day to like be a little outside of my comfort zone so I got these little tennis shoes I don't know. They're yellow. They're from Aldo. I got them with my hot pink pumps and that's what they look like. I thought this with um, like denim shorts in the summer would just be really cute. Like very preppy and I don't know. So I got them. They're kind of weird. You might not think they're weird, but I never wear tennis shoe looking shoes. Like I don't, this is my only pair that I own that even looks remotely like a running shoe. I don't know. I wear normally dressier shoes. Last but not least, Target every year has these really cute rhinestone flip-flops and I've gotten them every year since college or maybe high school or maybe even middle school. Like I've gotten them since I was like 10 years old and they always have them in gold, silver, and black and then every now and then they'll have like a hot pink or like a random color but every year I buy the newest pairs because they get like worn out. I wear them all the time in the summer. So I got fresh pairs. I got the silver which looks identical to last year's silver and I wouldn't have even bought a new pair except that my silver ones the rhinestones started falling off but the exciting thing for me was that the gold ones are different than last year's gold one last year was more of a yellow gold and this year is more of a rose gold how pretty are these it's like a blush gold and it has the rhinestones and the metallic and these are just so nice they dress up an otherwise really casual outfit and I like wearing these even with my bikini like by the pool because it's just a little bit of dressiness and girliness to you know just being by the pool and stuff so I always like to have a little something like glittery on me at all times so I love these so that was all of the accessories that I bought for the spring I've also bought some new clothing items that are not essentials they're just kind of like fun seasonal on trend clothing items so I might do another video showing you the clothing that I've bought in the last couple of weeks so if you're interested in that leave me a comment below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys later bye